Shireen, can I tell you how many times one of your videos is sent to me from a friend? People are obsessed with you. Before we talk about the apples, what do you think your magic is? The apples, well, there's one secret ingredient to the apples that it actually can't hurt your teeth. It's super important for this little teeny tiny ingredient. You have to add it. But you know what? I think you're, you are so hugely, Shereen, I believe you're hugely popular because of the way you deliver these recipes. They are great recipes, but it's your delivery that people have fallen in love with. Were you surprised by that? I was, oh my gosh, I've been pursuing my career for a really long time. So this is a blessing. I am so excited and I am so thrilled that everyone is cooking from scratch. Okay, so, and that's, that's the premise of what you like to do. You believe from scratch, homemade, make it right. Where did you get this apple recipe and learn these tricks? Was it passed down to you or is it trial and error? No, I actually developed this recipe probably eight, 10 years ago. And the candy was really hard. And my daughter would often say, Mom, the candy's just too hard. And then through trial and error, I realized there was one secret ingredient. And now it just makes them perfect. OK, let's walk us through. I appreciate your daughter pointing that out. As a person who has a full top of veneers, I don't want to lose any teeth biting into an what? apple. <laughs> so walk us through how you make them. Yes. So you want a two-quart pot. So two cups, I like to say sugar, <laughs> right into the pot. And then one cup water. So this is really simple ingredients that you have on hand, right. primarily. One third cup light corn syrup. So this is what gives it that beautiful glassy texture. And then to flavor the candy, two cinnamon sticks. Oh, nice. Right into the pot. OK. Yep, so flavor, a pinch of salt, Salt is always great. Baking, cooking, it just brings all the flavors together. And what makes a classic candy apple is the beautiful red coloring. So you have red food coloring right into the pot. So you're gonna bring it up to a bubble, medium to medium high heat. It'll take about 10 to 15 minutes, or I'm, excuse me, about 15 to 20 minutes. And I have one here on the back burner. Excuse my reach, I'm just gonna slide them out. So really, really important when you're making candy, Tamarin, your candy thermometer. So even though I give you that gauge of 15 to 20 minutes, the candy thermometer is what's going to dictate whether the candy is ready. 280 degrees, soft crack. And then once you get to that soft crack phase, I'm going to remove my thermometer. Just slide it right over there. Baking soda. So oh. quarter teaspoon baking soda. So it tenderizes baking. Why do we add it? It tenderizes cakes. It does in candy as well. So you're going to cut the heat. Just add that little bit in. Makes a world of difference. It's going to kind of bubble up a little bit. And you just give it a gentle stir because remember you are making candy. It sort of freaks out. I wish you could see this. Now does it matter? Shireen, does it matter what kind of apple you use? Red, green, Macintosh, Fiji? Does it matter? You know, you can use any kind that you like. I love Granny Smith simply because you mm. have that sweet tart yeah. uh, flavoring from Granny Smith. And I love the green color. So even nice. when, yeah, you get that, see that? That looks so beautiful. And then here, so another tip I give you in my video on my TikTok, I like to say chill your apples because when you go to coat them, it'll immediately grab onto the apple and then swirl them Ooh, all the way around. That looks beautiful. And I see you have a tray of finished apples over to the side. I'm going to try this, Shereen.